India, Sri Lanka, Nepal demanded Russian government to return their citizens recruited by its army. The Indian government has asked the Russian government to return the Indian citizens recruited by its army with Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra confirming the request. This follows the death of two Indian citizens in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict as announced by the Indian Ministry of External Affairs. The Indian Embassy in Russia has further asked for early return of the remains of the deceased. Other South Asian countries like Sri Lanka and Nepal have also requested the return of their citizens following reports of Sri Lankan and Nepali citizens fighting in the conflict as part of the Russian army. Sri Lanka maintained a large army over the past 40 years because of a long civil war which ended in 2009. Every year, thousands of soldiers retire from service. An unprecedented economic crisis since 2022 has forced many people to seek jobs overseas and there have been widespread reports of human trafficking and cheating by fake job agents. Nepal is also seeking monetary compensation from Russia for the families of those Nepali nationals who were killed in the fighting. Russian officials have not commented on the recruitment of foreign nationals for military service in Ukraine, but media reports have said that along with Nepal, the Russian military has recruited some people from Cuba. Russian law allows foreign nationals to enlist in its army after they sign a contract with the Defense Ministry. The full-scale war between Russia and Ukraine, ongoing since the Russian invasion of Ukraine two years ago, has resulted in around 18 Indians being stranded in areas near the Russia-Ukraine border. Some Indians in Ukraine alleged that they were conned into joining the Russian army after being recruited as army helpers, but later had their passports confiscated and were forced into fighting. However, an official at the Russian Ministry of Defense stated that about 100 Indians had been recruited with full consent and were informed about the risks. It was also further claimed that the workers were paid for their service. Ukrainian Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk has said that Russia has made changes in the defense of the Kerch Bridge, also known as Crimea Bridge, connecting Russia to Crimea Peninsula. Previously, Russians had from 10 to 14 ships and boats at the sea simultaneously guarding the bridge, but now there are zero of them there. Accordingly, they must somehow solve this problem, Pletenchuk said adding that Russians are building passive barriers and engineering structures near the bridge in the form of the same barges with booms. A video circulated on Telegram app shows the fortification around the bridge. According to British intelligence report, Russians have pulled eight barges to the bridge. The British analyzed satellite images, noting that installation began on May 10 and was completed on May 22. Today's satellite image already shows 17 barges, except for the flooded ones, and some unusual buildings reminiscent of piers. Crimea was annexed by Russia in an early 2014 and has been the venue of hostilities since Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Ukraine struck an S-400 system in Zankoy and two less advanced S-300 systems near Yevpatoria and Kornomorsk in Crimea this week, resulting in significant losses for Russian air defenses, Ukraine's general staff said.